We've already looked at using queries to select information, and we've looked at even advanced forms of select information. But queries can be used for other things, such as updating information. We're going to take a look at that in just a minute. And what we're going to look at specifically is if I look at my line items, you notice I have a quantity and I have a line price. But what I don't have is a value for that line price. And that line price would be based upon a retail price times the quantity. So how do I get that information? Well, we're going to come over here to Query Design. We're going to select Line Items and Products. Once we have those two selected, we're going to click Close. I'm going to choose the product name, the retail price, the quantity from my line items, and the line price. Those are all the pieces of information I need. And I'm going to say View. And when I see this, I see my three line items. I see retail price, quantity, etc. So we got a good start here. Now I'm going to come back into my design view and I'm going to make a couple of minor changes. Number one is I'm going to set my criteria for my line price to be zero. And you might say, well, why would I do that? Well, I'm going to go in and update these values. And if a price updates later on, I don't want to update something that I've already set. So a lot of times if I have bought something, I'm not going to be asked to go back and pay a higher price just because the price went up a little bit later. So by putting in zero, we're checking to make sure this isn't going to be an issue. If I view it, you'll notice that all my information is still there because I didn't have any line item prices before. Let's go back to design view. And I want to update this table. So how would I update it? Well, You'll notice up under my Query Design tab, I have several types of queries. Right now, it's a select query. And that's a pretty common query. That's, in fact, probably the most common query that you're going to use. But notice I do have others, including Make Table, Append, Update, Cross Tab, and Delete. Currently, we're on Select, which is probably our most common type of query. So if I look at my field view, when I click on Update, you notice a couple things change. For example, we don't care about the whether it's showing and things like that. That's because this is going to be doing an action. In fact, Access calls these action queries. You'll notice that it gives us a new row. Instead of the show, it has update to. And this is, what is it going to be updating? So I'm going to save this real quick so I can be able to have access to these fields. So just a control S, notice it's just saving the query. And we're going to say it's update line price. Click OK. And now I'm going to right click and choose build. When I choose build, it opens up what's known as the expression builder. And this is going to let me see what I'm going to do. So I'm going to choose retail price, expression values. Notice it comes up products, exclamation point, retail price. In expression builder, it uses an exclamation point instead of the period. Under line items, I'm going to select quantity. And I need to do something with this. So I'm going to type in star or shift eight, which is multiplication, and then double click on the quantity value. Click OK. If I click view, notice that it has just the line price. This is just the field that's going to update. And notice it doesn't display anything. Well, that's because in order to run this query, I need to click on run. When I do that, it says, hey, you're about to update three rows. Are you sure you want to do this? I'm going to click yes. And now if I go to click on view, notice that nothing shows. What happened? Well, values got assigned to the line price. And because they got assigned to the line price, it's no longer zero. And so it's not going to show up. In fact, if I go over here and try to click on run, it's going to say you're about to update zero rows. 
If I want to verify this, I can open up my table line items. And notice now I have prices associated with what the cost was. So this is a very easy way to go through and do an update for something like this. Now, Access does have a calculated field that you can use, but it has to calculate every time. So this is a little bit faster. It's a one-time performance hit. You do get a little bit of uh, extra storage space, but it makes your overall system faster, especially important if you have really complex types of calculations. And it allows you to update an existing table. Now, all you have to do is click on this one query. Maybe I do it daily. Maybe I do it hourly. Maybe it's just weekly. All this information gets updated very easily for me. And this can be used on any table that I need to. As you can see, we don't have to pull data from just our table.